Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The name is Ben, and your eye holes are looking at a guide on the Templar challenge mode with specific role assignments. I personally find role assignments helpful when doing raids I haven't done in two years, or challenge modes that have yet to be mastered. This video is centered around maintaining consistent DPS on Templar so the fight doesn't last as long. So, without further ado, please, role number one, Relic Runner. Once the relic is picked up from the center of the arena, the player that assumes this role has to kill harpies as soon as possible to charge the relic for the projectile attack. Destroying an oracle helps speed this up, so if you happen to be near one, call out for your teammates to stop shooting at it. When the relic is charged, it can be used to shoot the Templar's shield off. To complete the challenge successfully, the Templar must be prevented from teleporting to one of two teleport locations, the left and right teleport spots, we'll call them. It is the relic holder's job to block both of these locations. Believe it or not, it is actually easier than you think at first. I found that stalling for 3 to 4 seconds after the teleporter appears, seen here marked by the red circle, is a good strategy as it keeps you from running out of this shield ability while the teleporter is active and Templar is trying to murder you. If you're flying from one teleporter to the other, the time it takes you to get to the opposite side is almost always going to be enough to keep you shielded for the duration of the teleport attempt. Fun fact, the melee attack on the relic can be used to propel you forward, almost like Twilight Garrison on Titans, so use it to traverse the gaps quickly. If for some reason you can't make it, it's nice to have a Titan on each teleporter that can drop a bubble in place so that you can sit in it and let them resume their roles. Alternatively, you can have a Night Stalker or Blade Dancer with Invis sit on one of the two teleporter locations and block them. It is important, however, that the teleporter never be left unblocked once a Guardian steps into it. If you hop in it the moment it's up and shade step out for a fraction of a second, that's enough for Templar to teleport and do his little invisible foot two-step all up and down your guts. This brings us to row number two, the Add Controller. Preferably, this Guardian will have a roaming or defensive super like Storm or Tether. One of my groups had a Night Stalker assume this role. Thanks, Terrence. Essentially, this Guardian will patrol the area behind the right teleporter, tossing tethers, smoke bombs, and grenades at choke points to keep adds at bay. Or if you have a storm, pop storm and go nuts. Heavy sword attacks are really effective against Minotaurs, so I highly recommend giving those a shot. If at some point help is needed, the other Guardians on the right side can toss a nade or help dispose of any adds. A good strategy to always stay on top of the enemies here is to trade roles with another fire team member who has their supercharged. If you have two storm callers take turns assuming this role for instance, you can make short work of any number of minotaurs and harpies. This also gives you the opportunity to farm for ammo. Anywho, lastly, the firing squad. This role can be taken up by four guardians and, well, as the name suggests, they simply focus on putting damage on the boss with sniper rifles, heavy weapons, and grenades. Having a tether shot or viking funeral grenades thrown can be a huge help during this phase. If you have titans on deck, use blessings or weapons of light as needed. And save for the occasional shot or grenade to help with ad control, the main focus of guardians assuming this role is putting damage on Templar. And that's about it. Wham, bam, boom. Three to five minutes and you're done. Get it? Got it? Good. Ho! I'll stop. I managed to get my hands on all the primary adept exotics from just two runs this time, and I hope you have too. Here they are, unupgraded, because I haven't used them yet. Take it all in! This is footage from our run through the Templar Challenge. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Until next time, God bless and the deuces. Shall we? I already did. Yeah. Spawn the back. Then remember to see you. Far right, far right, far right. Oh, I choked. On your side. Then right, right. right. I'll leave the rope, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh, actually, we have to save our lives. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him down. He got a shield. It's going down now. I got left teleporter. You got that yeah, first one, right? Okay. Nice. <laughs> you got second teleport. Oh ho, Nelly. Oh, he almost killed me!
Ooh, that's close. Close. Close as F. I got it, I got it. Uh -oh. I got this. I keep, keep, here. keep shooting me, keep shooting me. That bubble should last me. Pop a bubble. Keep them off. Oh, you got that one? Yep. Right, I'll stay back here. On fall off. Keep, keep shooting. Going. Keep going. Yeah, just keep shooting. Keep shooting. You see how fast he's shooting? Oh, Nelly. Yeah, I see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he wants to give me some bit. Oh, almost. Oh, he's so close. He's so close. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, what did it? <laughs> oh, fate bringer! Yeah, no, me too. They don't care about anything. Yeah, Happy day, you Did <laughs> <laughs> I pop a knuckles for now?